Hi guys, I'm back. I'm Sajid, and I'm back with another video uh, about Java programming language. So, uh, in our previous video, we studied about for loop, and uh, before that, we studied uh, while loop and do while. So, these all all were like you know the statements in Java which are used to like loop some uh, a block of code which is executed uh, multiple times as you want and you can control them with the help of some uh, like ranges or variables anyway so today I have another video in this and we're gonna study another type of uh, loop which is called for each loop and this is specifically designed for arrays so what are arrays we will study in upcoming video so for now because this is a related loop so that's why uh, I have included this uh, um, this topic here uh, along with the loops and the sequence and in uh, one upcoming video I will teach you what are the arrays so let's look at the sign text man so first of all for type variable name you just type a variable name here and array name so you have to give it uh, name of array here so for the arrays for now if you don't know about them just I want to tell you these are like collection of uh, um, uh, values uh, a large number of values or small number of values where each value has um, an index to uh, to refer to each value you can use a one index number and uh, you can use those values for any purpose. We will see them in detail in cup, uh, in in one upcoming video. So here, let's look at this example. How for each loop uh, works for the array. So here we have a small beautiful code here. Um, yuppie and uh, yuppie so guys this is my for loop and this is my string array so uh, you will learn uh, sorry i have disturbed the indentation so let me fix it a little bit okay so i think it's fine for now okay guys so uh, this is our stray uh, array we have defined array uh, called cars car is the number uh, the name of the array and these like square brackets after a string you know is a class in java to store text uh, as you um, uh, might have learned one in my app, uh, one of the like previous video here a string cars cars is the name of this string here and uh, you know uh, after like this uh, equal to this is our assignment operator and then we have a curly bracket and then we have four names of the cars four brands volvo bmw ford and mazda so these four uh, are the names of the cars uh, brands there so these four names are stored in it so even 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 i can add one another one you know uh, like for example uh, I, I add Toyota, right? I can add uh, um, Kia, right? Okay, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So if I want to print out all brand names, car brand names in this array simultaneously without like, uh, 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 like a printing each value with the help of its index I just write this for each so for each element I mean here in in the string I is referring to like starting point to end point all numbers for each I I inside the cars like for each element in the cars array I have to loop through and I can do something with that so system dot out dot print line I will be printing I for that right okay so let's 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 uh, run our code so on the right side uh, you will see the result there oh yes like TV Volvo so for the cars for all elements in it system dot out dot print line 
it has printed all the values there or the brand names there in the array uh, one by one so this is how uh, for each loop uh, works so I hope uh, and further don't worry if you don't understand the example about fully because uh, we have another chapter called about arrays I hope you will understand uh, there so this was all about for each loop guys so if you have any question you can ask me in the comments below if you have not understood anything or if there's any problem i'm here to support you and to help you and if you have a university student college student or, or if you are a freelancer or and you're studying java at your own pace at home or whatever so you these these videos are useful useful for you and you can share with your friends and uh, colleagues out there so that they can also take benefit from this so i will continuing with the java uh, in this series uh, now we are at the like you can say beginners level so uh, if you show interest and if you want I can uh, uh, key, uh, take it up to very very advanced level as well so anyways I hope this video was useful for you so stay tuned and uh, I'll be back soon with another video so take care and bye bye this was your friend Sajid take care bye bye